So after an on-court spat with his dad in his first round loss at the Canadian Open and also a press conference that wasn't great and didn't really put either guy in a real good light, Sissy Bats is split with his dad as the coach of him and he's going coachless, I guess, for the next couple of weeks, unless he's got someone in the wings. Let's go have a look at what he had to say over on Twitter about the split. So this is what Sissy Bats had to say. It is with a heavy heart that I inform you that my collaboration with my father as a coach has come to an end. I prefer to keep my father in his role as a father and only as a father. Philosophy teaches us that wisdom comes through understanding our limits and acknowledging our mistakes. In my case, I realized that I was wrong to talk to my father the way I did. My behavior on the pitch was unacceptable and I feel disappointed that I got to to a point where I showed a dark side of myself. My father will continue to travel with me, be there to support me and provide assistance off the field as I have always wanted. I trusted my father with the coaching role for so many years and I consider our partnership to be successful. I'm not sure who takes his place and I'm not in a position to decide yet. What I do know is that it is time to let this chapter and this phase close and try to write a new one. We both agreed to that and hope to focus on our human side first, then the rest. Accepting my mistakes and trying to mend my ways is part of my path as an athlete and I assure you that I will continue to work hard to improve myself both on and off the field. I hope this experience is a lesson for me and for everyone who struggles to find the right balance in their lives. There you have it. Sissy Pass and his dad splitting his coach and player and he's still going to be around. I mean, there was a period of time, a couple of, maybe a year ago or so, where his dad wasn't the coach and he kind of stepped away and did his thing and some other coaches stepped in. But there you go. He's not going to be having a coach, I guess, for the next little bit. I guess the next question is, who's going to be his coach? Let me know down in the comments below. Who can coach City Pass? There is a player, a, a coach called Patrick Moritoglu who's floating around. He just split with Cole Garuna. Of course, Boris Becker is always a popular choice uh, as a coach. I mean, he also has coached Cole Garuna. Uh, Severin Luthi also, who was supposed to coach Cole Garuna at the start of the year. He's also there, I guess. But, man, it's a little bit disappointing. Look, Steph, it's great to see that Steph, you know, accepts that he made a mistake. You know, he, he spoke in his, to his dad in a bad way. He, he swore at his dad, kicked him out of the box in his first round or first match loss. And in the press conference, went on with it a little bit, which is, you know, not ideal. Uh, it shouldn't, you know, should be dealt with behind scenes, especially when it's your father or your dad, you know, it's, it's, it's such a personal thing to go out and talk to the media openly about how your dad's letting you down. Uh, that's not, you know, it's not going to help anyone anyway. So great to see that he's accepted that. And look, you know, it's probably for the best. But who's going to coach him next? That is the big question. Sidney Pass and his dad have split as coach and player, though.